Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create a, a launch pad, a launch board, a trampoline or anything similar you might think of that actually allows your character to be launched in the air in a form of a really elongated or big jump. This is a regular mechanic in so many action games, third person, third person, first person, whatever you can think of, because it's really simple, it's really easy to create and make, and you get a lot of gameplay value from it. The good news is that it's exceedingly easy to create it in Unreal Engine as well. So I'm going to create an object, which is going to actually be a blueprint class, that will allow you to place these around your level. So the first thing obviously is to create a blueprint by right clicking and selecting blueprint class. We're going to use an actor and we're going to call it jump board. Once we have it, we should open it up by double clicking on it and we have the empty pawn or empty blueprint actor here. The first thing we need to do is to add a static mesh that will represent this launch platform. So I'm going to use a simple plane for the same purpose. And it's basically without any kind of a skin or a mesh. So I'm go it's just a static mesh. So I'm going to add a material which is going to be something colorful, somewhat colorful. And let's uh, make it into uh, let's say a wooden board that's basically brown and from here on out we need to add box collision the same collision will turn the static mesh now with uh, material into an active blueprint component so we're going to add again box collision here it is simply type box and it's huge right now we're going to scale it down let me select it, okay, something like this, and we need to make it bigger, so it covers the whole surface. And now with it, again, we need to compile and save, do this often in whatever you're doing. With the box collision selected, uh, I renamed it into ver, but it's box collision, we need to get to this element right here, events on collision we have a bunch of these but on component begin overlap is the thing that we need to select that means that when anything comes over or gets connected with the same box collision something will happen you just click on this button this plus symbol right here and with it, you're into the event graph and as you can see on component begin overlap were again badly named but it's the same box collision we need to create the blueprint set the set of blueprint nodes that will actually launch anything that comes on it the first thing is to add the node to cast to actor and we are not going to use this executive node or connection we're going to use other actor from here on out simply search for cast 2 this is a first person character blueprint game so it's first person character here it is and now we need the node that actually does the launching which is called launch but we need to set it from as first person character and launch character is the node we're after here it is right now we have everything that is needed we're going to compile and save it again however we have to set the launch velocity right now it's 000, but let's place it to for example 300 we need to compile and save and in theory our jump board is ready to be used so we're going to move it here right in front of my character and we're going to expand it so it's bigger as you can see the box collider is visible 
we're going to save all of this and we're going to test it out in the game so here it is here is the same <laughs> jump board and as you can see the bullets are already working they're launching high in the air let's see the character the launch is there but it's really really small it's on even smaller than my actual original jump so let's turn it up in terms of intensity let's put it to let's say 900 file save and let's try it out and that's much better and my character is up in the air and the character is flying I can steer it using my general components of character movements but as you can see you can also change these values to get a particular direction of the same jump or launch this basic system can allow you to create any kind of a mechanic that actually launches your character in the air or any other component as you can see the same applies to my ammunition because when I fire it near it's acting normally but when I fire it it's up in the air thanks to the launch board you can use this to create trampolines to create launch boards launch locations of any kind and easily modify them however like to get the effect you're after so there you have it it's a really simple process it includes nothing more than this set of blueprints and of course creating the actual mesh and the box collider that is driving the basic mechanic from the blueprint nodes with that you have your launch board ready to go that's it for this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial thank you so much for being here hopefully you found this video useful it's designed and created for beginners like I'm hoping you and me and with it again hopefully you found something that you can apply to your projects like always please consider leaving a like please consider subscribing if you're into Unreal Engine and there are a bunch of other ways how you can support this channel of course they are all in the description below but the easiest and most effective is to simply subscribe and leave a like of course if you have any issues comments or questions please leave those in the comment section below that's it thank you so much for watching my name is Ivica hopefully I'll see you on my new Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video and until then have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects bye bye